Hey, hello then. How are you on this incredible and amazing day? Jenny here. I'm your host of the Mindset Alchemy podcast, where we look at what's happening and whether we're creating magic or we are recreating mayhem. And how do we do this? Well, we become aware of what we're thinking, the emotions it's triggering, and we understand the feelings that the emotion is bringing out in our body. And with this, we watch what our words are saying, because words are magical. We, in inverted commas, spell with words. We create with our words, and our words come from deep, inner, inner feelings, knowingness, experiences, woundings, and completions. Somebody said to me the one day, did you know, somebody said something to me the one day and it triggered a thought. We have experiences to have experience. And when we use our experiences, look at our instinct and see, is this aligned with what my intuition is telling me? Where is it uh, a wounding from a past experience? And where is it stepping forward to show me that it's okay to move forward? This is different. We are able to understand what is happening. And that is one of the reasons today we are going to talk about being present. We are a spirit in a human body. We are here to have a body experience, a human experience, and we are still spirit. What we do with our thoughts, our words, with what we're saying, how we're acting, and what was said to us when we were children also, what could be coming to us from a past experience, a past life, is we present what is happening. We have created it. And as such, we move forward. The universe has lined up and helped us to create it. So if you don't like what is happening in your present, go and have a look at where you present it and clear it, sort it through the various modalities, reach out to me. I can help you with that because that is one of the biggest things I help my clients do is to shift that energy of whatever has been pre-sent, what is being created. So as we remain in the present, the present is a present to us because we pre-sent it or we're not paying attention in the here and now. Now, if you do not enjoy what you are having happening in your here and now, it's to explore what is the loop you set up? What is the most common thing you say? Because if you keep saying, oh, I have no money, guess what? You are affirming it to yourself. You are keep bringing it back into your present. And not only that, you are creating in your future. So when you get there and you have no cash flow, you present it through what you were saying and what you constantly repeat. Because our brains are computers that work on commands. We can command other people's brains and we can command our brains and they can command our brains as well. Which is the reason that when our teacher kept telling us we stupid, we can't do something, our brain was programmed that we stupid and we can't do something. And it's in using alchemy where we transmute that into that was their point of view. That was their perspective of life of themselves. And they were projecting it into us and implanting it into us so that they were, weren't uncomfortable with people that were more creative, more expansive than they are, and they were constricting us. We transmute that through understanding whatever that was pre-sent, either by ourselves and others through programming our brain and our life, we can shift that. Now, how do we do that? Well, like I said, you can work with a healer and mindset alchemist like myself or somebody else who understands energy. For deeper conditions, you work for with professionals that uh, have other modalities and ways of doing it. It just depends on what the challenge is. Now, what we do is we begin reprogramming through awareness. What are we saying to ourselves? What are our common thoughts? And this is where journal is a wonderful thing. You keep track. You jot down what you're thinking. You jot down what you're feeling. You jot down your experiences. Now, there are different types of journal. You get your gratitude journal. You get your keep track of a journal. You get your healing journal. You get your journal and burn journal. That's a subject for another day. 
for today, we're exploring the let's keep track of what are we saying to ourselves? What are the most common responses we have to situations? And what is the loop we are looping de looping? And where are we creating magic in our lives and beautiful things we enjoy having? Or where are we creating mayhem to what we pre sense because we weren't present in the present watching what we had pre sent? Yes, convoluted, I know. Are you keeping up with me? The bottom line is when we stay present in the present, we are aware of what we pre-sent previously and we can then come into the be part of being and begin to create through reading, through podcasts, through journaling, through healing work, through coming into completion and having a future focus. That's right. We have a future focus of who we would like to be. What would we like to have and what is required to do so that as we are present in the present, looking at what we present and deciding are we going to give it or are we going to release it, we are then able to have a focus of maybe health, wealth and success. Maybe we would like um, different things in our relationship. Maybe we would enjoy um, our business can be asking for different to be done. And this is when we get into the question. What am I refusing to see that if I saw it would create more for me, more for my business and more for my future? What are the infinite possibilities of resetting what was present so I can step forward and I am stepping forward with confidence and trust in my life? And keep that as your focus, confidence and trust, the business you would like to have, the relationships you would like to have. Because when you focus on your focus and remaining in the present with an eye to your focus, things start moving around and allowing you to get into that state of creating the magic of the focus you're choosing to create. Whereas when we are unaware, we have a focus. The challenge is the focus is behind us and not in front of us. And we keep dragging it into our present and looping the loop. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Please get hold of me and uh, let me know what you think about the things you present to your present and how you can shift your focus in the present so that you can create more and better in the future. Looking forward to hearing you and please like and share. I would really appreciate that. And uh, if you would like to leave a five star uh, rating on iTunes, I would also appreciate that. Come and work with me and let us see how we can reset what you present into your present so that your future can be one of the lifestyle and choices you love living. Have a grand, glorious and amazing day. Bye-bye.